So thanks for tuning into this video. Many of you have been waiting patiently for this information and uh, we respect your patience and I, I trust that you won't be uh, disappointed. So my name is Todd McClay. I'm a senior investment advisor with Precedence Capital and Gravitas Securities and I'm also an advisor with Precedence Private Wealth. I work with uh, my wife Deanna McClay and she's the beautiful lady that you've been seeing um, quite frequently throughout the months uh, previous in res with respect to the videos on insurance planning, different types of wealth management practices, etc. So what we want to talk about today obviously is the tax deductible mortgage plan. It's one of the most amazing strategies that we implement for our clients. First of all, why would you want to have a tax deductible mortgage? So first off, let's talk about the math um, with just a regular mortgage. So most Canadians, they'll, they'll go to their bank, they'll take out a 30 year loan. And that mortgage, for an example, in this scenario, we're going to use is a $250,000 mortgage. So the problem is, it's not that it's a $250,000 mortgage, it's the fact that you have to pay interest on that mortgage all the way through the term. So the interest payable in this amount is $128,000 of additional interest just to pay off that $250,000 existing mortgage. So the total payments then are $378,000 in total, including the interest. Most people are aware of this, they understand the cost of borrowing. Um, this is just a fact of life to own a home in Canada. But wait, that $378,000 is after tax. So the tax implications on the income that we earn on this example at 39% is an additional $147,700. So pretty substantial. Therefore, the total amount of earned income required is $525,420 just to pay off the previous $250,000 mortgage over 30 years. We use a 3% interest rate in this example. We're not going to debate whether that's high, low, whether you can get better rates, higher rates, interest rates increasing. We just want a static number so that you can, we can show you the uh, fundamentals and the actual key attributes of the strategy. You know, a half a million dollar expense over 30 years is substantial. Could you imagine if you were able to pay your mortgage off or be, I guess, mortgage free sooner and what impact that would have on your wealth, especially into retirement years and getting closer and closer to your so-called financial freedom date. So let's take a look at um, how this actual strategy will work. We're going to go old school on this. I have to laugh. Life gets in the way. Um, it's been super sunny and dry in Saskatchewan for the last um, you know, month. And we had all the lights and plan everything planned and so now all of a sudden it's gloomy and rainy. So if it's a little tough to see, that's why I didn't, it's not purposely this dim, but uh, hopefully the information will brighten it up. But anyway, so let's go through the exact strategy. So we're gonna go old school, we're just gonna draw this out. So I'm gonna show you kind of step by step how this strategy works, what we do for our clients. This is something you can do on your own. So what our mission is, is not necessarily just to provide you the information. We wanna make this the standard mortgage. So just like you walk into your bank or your financial institution today or contact your broker and get a traditional mortgage, we want this type of information and this strategy to be so commonplace that this is just a second nature type of transaction for most Canadians. We have some work to do. We have definitely have some education upon us, but that is what our goal is to have everybody aware of how this works. So let's take this um, one step further. So everybody's going to recall this aspect. So we're going to take a home and the home is, has a $500,000 fair market value. So that's how much that, that property is worth. It, you, it works the same, whether it's a million, 2 million, 400,000, 275,000, the property value is irrelevant. It's the proportion of the mortgage and, and all of its uh, components is, is really what we want to focus on here. So, a traditional 30-year mortgage, obviously we're going to do it at 3%, so that's not going to be any different, so we're going to say 3%. But what we've done is we're going to divide the debt on this property in half. So what we have is you have a 200, we have a $250,000 mortgage. So what that allows Canadians to do is set up a line of credit 
up to 80% loan to value of your fair market value of your home. So for this example, it would be $400,000. So you could borrow $400,000, many Canadians do, that's probably where most of the debt comes from. Most Canadians are using their house like an ATM. It's just not really a viable wealth management strategy, but nevertheless, you can do it. What we wanna do is show you how you can take advantage of that unlocked equity and actually use it to pay your mortgage off uh, quicker and build wealth with it. So up to 400,000 is what you can borrow. So that will leave $150,000 that you can borrow on what we call an investment line of credit. So the ILOC is the amount that you can borrow and you can use that to, in, to invest and to actually buy assets that will help propel the strategy. So what we do is we actually send that 150,000. Now what we're gonna do is we need to have a buffer. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but so you don't send the entire amount, but what you do is you send $145,000 in this example into what we call as an income fund. And it doesn't matter what you buy with these assets. It could be property, it could be portfolio assets, which is usually what we recommend just because of simplicity, you don't have to manage it, but it can be any type of asset that has a potential to pay an income stream higher than your cost of borrowing. So what it's going to do, so that $145,000, and we're gonna say that it's gonna pay out a 6% distribution to Excuse the drawings, but this is how <laughs> six, six, it's going to pay a 6% distribution to you personally. And that's going to be $725 every single month. We're going to send that to you personally. So you have to make your regular mortgage payment every single month. That's a given. And that over a 30 year mortgage is going to be $1,052. Now the problem with that is only $448 is actually equity from that payment. So what we're gonna do with the $725 that lands in our pocket is we're gonna actually make a prepayment onto that mortgage for $725. Now many Canadians understand, like if you make an extra, they even talk about $25 extra a month or bi-weekly payments or weekly payments or accelerated payments, it can shed years and years off your mortgage. So just imagine when you can actually have an income stream that's being used, not out of your own resources, but actually out of investable assets that can be used to prepay your mortgage. It's a wonderful thing. So that 725 along with that 1,052 payment is gonna go onto the mortgage. Now out of that $725 though, the actual full amount is 725 that comes directly onto your principal so as soon as you make these payments the available equity is able to be reborrowed instantly so you can the minute that you make that thousand and fifty two dollar payment you can borrow back 448 dollars um, and you can either invest it or spend it so it's there to be used the $725 is exactly the same, except for it fully goes on to principal and pays down the mortgage by the $725. So what we do on a monthly basis is we actually reborrow both of those figures so that the line of credit increases as the debt decreases. So your total amount borrowed never changes. As you can see that the $250,000 is gonna be paid down accelerated quite quickly but we're gonna reborrow it back. Now, why do you wanna reborrow it back? Now, this is the exact, this is the absolute essence of the tax deductible mortgage strategy. Number one, any time that you can borrow money and have it earn more income in an investment than your cost of borrowing, you're going to build wealth exponentially. And so that's really what we do here. We have a 6% in income stream or distribution coming down. We're making mortgage payments and prepayments from that income, we're reborrowing it and we're sending it to both of this into a tax clearing account or a checking account. Now, the reason why we require this, it's only a matter of time. I will, it's a virtual guarantee that CRA is going to look at this. They're going to eventually say, holy, this person is getting thousands of dollars in tax refunds. We need to 
you know, investigate and find out if this is legitimate or not. And so that is why we have this tax clearing account. So the re-advanced portion from those two amounts is $1,165. So you say, holy smokes, well that's amazing. So I got all that money coming out. The difference is though, you still have to pay for the cost of borrowing of this line of credit. So that cost is $504. Now that $504, also includes the fee that we charge on a, on a monthly basis to manage this, which is $39.95 plus GST, which is tax deductible. The reason being is it's a financial planning and wealth management strategy. So you get to deduct the fees on those types of strategies. Regardless, whether you do this on your own or you hire us to take care of this for you, that is really what that figure employs. Now the difference between these two figures, we have to do we have to invest it. The reason why is because in order to create a tax deductible interest event, we have to do one of two things. We have to borrow to invest in an asset that produces income, or we have to pay interest on interest used to buy an asset that <laughs> pays um, income. So the difference between that $1,165 and that $504 is that $661 and we send that again to an investment account that will grow. And again, for this illustration, we're going to say that it's going to grow at a 6% clip, just the same as the 6% distribution. We'll talk about what the investments are in a subsequent video. Um, I just want to get through the fundamental facts of exactly how the strategy works and what the resulting um, benefits are. So we went through that quite quickly. Um, so I want to review this again. So we start with a $250,000 mortgage. We've unlocked $150,000 of equity that we want to invest into an income fund. This investment account is going to pay a 6% income stream or distribution, which is $725 a month. That $725 gets prepaid onto the mortgage with the $1,052 that you're going to make, which is your regular payment. The equity from this payment, the 448, plus the exact 725 that we've prepaid, we reborrow once that's become available because we've paid down the mortgage, it becomes available on the line of credit. That equals to $1,165. That $1,165 we shelter into a tax clearing account. This is your audit trail for CRA. So this makes it super simple. So we've had uh, two, maybe three dozen successful audits. And usually what happens is CRA will say, we just need to see where the money came from that you borrowed to justify the interest and what it actually went to as far as justifying the, the investment. And that audit trail um, protects that along with the investment accounts. We hit a button and CRA looks at it and says, says we find. So we've never had a negative audit uh, once and all of our clients can vouch for that. So out of that $1,165, $504 is the actual interest, which is also tax deductible interest on this side of the equation. So that is what gives you your tax refunds, which we'll cover in a moment. The fee which we charge to manage, which is $39.95 plus GST, if you want to do it on your own, then obviously that $39.95 ends up along with the $661, which is the difference between the costs and what you've re-advanced, ends up into an investment account, which will also grow. So let's talk about the benefit of why anybody would want to do this. Um, it's a lot of moving parts. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine, possibly ten transactions per month that we manage for our clients, but it's amazingly effective at paying, um, paying your mortgage off quicker and actually building wealth. So why would you want to do all of this? Well, let's talk, take a look at the actual numbers. By implementing this strategy, you will pay your mortgage off or become mortgage free in 17.34 years. So almost half of what the traditional 30 year mortgage was at 3% um, at this payment um, amortization. So I don't know about you, but that sounds exciting. And how exciting? 
to the tune of $159,783 of future mortgage payments saved. So that's over 30 years. Now, if you make the payment for 30 years, because you've, you've committed to this 1,052 anyways. So what if you just made that payment for the 30 years, but after having your mortgage paid off at 17.34 years, you just continue to make your mortgage payment to yourself. Maybe it's an investment account, TFSA, maybe an RRSP. There's so many different options. The net wealth that would be created by just simply making the same mortgage payment is $341,069. Again, at 6% return. So we're not talking about outlandish returns or something that's pie in the sky. So now let's address what the actual result is by doing this strategy in the first year. So the net tax refund is this, $504 times 12, so roughly six grand, times the tax bracket that we used in this example, which is 39%. If you're higher, it's more advantageous. If you're lower, it's less. But nonetheless, income tax is gonna be a prevalent uh, expense in your life. So at 39%, you're actually going to, I wanna make sure I get the figure right, it's $1,962 of free tax refunds that we can use to apply against the bad debt or the non-deductible debt of the mortgage each and every year. So I wanna make sure that it's super clear. The reason why your mortgage is not tax deductible and the interest is not a deductible expense is because you've used it for consumption. In Canada, the only interest that is tax deductible is the interest that's used to invest in an asset that has the potential to pay income. And so it's very, very crucial to make sure your advisor or yourself, if you're doing this on your own, understand that that criteria has to be met. There's no questions asked. You can't buy land unless it's being rented. You can't buy art unless it's being leased. You can't buy gold coins or bars. It has to have the potential to pay income. Obviously stocks, bonds, um, GICs, which obviously you wouldn't want to use for this strategy, but um, you know, any type of asset, rental property, commercial buildings, etc., a business asset, all of those can be used to, uh, to fund this system. So it's, it's, it looks complicated in nature, but it's super simple. It's economic fact that if you borrow at 3% and you earn 6%, well, then you're going to be in a, a, favorable, um, a favorable position. So the important question is, just when exactly are you mortgage free within this strategy? Well, it's quite simple actually. The date that you have enough assets in your income fund and your wealth fund in these two investment accounts to pay off all the debts, that is the date that you are mortgage free. Now the event that happens much sooner is your mortgage conversion date, which is the date where you have zero in your bad debt or non-deductible debt category and all of your borrowing or lending is now on the tax deductible side. That's your mortgage conversion date. And that's the date where every time that you make a mortgage payment, you actually receive full interest deductions or sorry, full tax deductions from the cost of that interest. That's your mortgage conversion date. So obviously getting to that date as quickly as possible is going to speed up the strategy and get you to your mortgage freedom date so that you can walk away from your mortgage free and clear. The interesting thing is, and this is a topic for another video and a, and a subsequent discussion, but if you had a fully tax deductible mortgage where you were receiving full tax deductions for the interest that you paid and the assets that you had were, were growing faster than your cost of borrowing, why would you ever want to pay off your debt? Exactly. You wouldn't. So again, that's for a discussion for another day, but for the most part, that's economics 101 using available assets to grow faster than your cost of borrowing. And uh, that is really the essence of the tax deductible mortgage. This type of information and this strategy is built for Canadians that actually care about bettering their situation with respect to their wealth management. So, you know, hopefully the information has proved to you that it is viable. It really is up to you. 
nothing is going to happen. If it was all about more information, we'd all have six pack abs and be billionaires. It's all about execution. So take the first step, whether it's to investigate this further, reach out to us and ask us questions, watch more subsequent videos so you can gain a better understanding, but please do something, not just sit back, absorb the information because it's a game changer and take that first step um, towards actually implementing a strategy of, um, such as this. Um, trust me, our clients, it was just as uncomfortable for them when they looked at it because it's all fresh and new, but over the years, and they'll, they'll vouch for this, it gets easier and easier to understand and uh, they can see the immense benefits compile over time. And uh, like I said, many of them mortgage free. So let's talk about who this is for and who it's not for. Now, obviously you have to have 20% um, equity in your property in order to enter into this type of mortgage. Um, without all the financial planning and the cash flow management, you actually have to be in the correct mortgage. And so that means you have to have 20% equity in your property and you have to have obviously decent credit in order to get a different mortgage and you have to be able to um, uh, refinance or reposition your mortgage if you're with the right type of lender so that you can get into this re-advanceable structure. And number two, you have to be a person or an individual that actually cares. Um, it still amazes us how many people just um, randomly decide what to pay for their mortgage and with very little thought, very little strategy, they have absolutely no idea how much interest and what the, what the tax consequences are of just paying a traditional mortgage off over 30 years. And I get that you want to be aggressive and maybe making prepayments, but that's again after tax dollars. So if you can create a structure where you unlock debt equity in your property, and because it's not doing anything, your property is going to grow with inflation regardless of what you owe on it. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, an economic boom or a real estate boom. I'm talking about just general inflation. The cost of two by fours going up by 2% per year, the cost of shingles going up, cement, etc. just regular inflation pressure. If it grew at say two, 3%, just regular inflation pressure, your asset, your total market value is going to grow over time, which gives you more and more equity that you can actually do something with. Most Canadians, they can't wait to pay their mortgage off. So they go out, they work harder, they get second jobs, they, they kill themselves to make extra after-tax payments on their mortgage. When in reality, these types of structures are created for Canadians to take advantage of the highest expense that they pay, income tax, and use it to prepay their consumer debt. So it's pretty obvious. Please leave a comment below, share with us your, your feedback, um, obviously this was a very, very informal discussion. I just wanted to show everyone exactly how to do this. Um, you can do this on your own. Obviously it's, it's uh, quite thorough and complex, um, but basic in nature. We've been doing this for our clients for the last decade with amazing results. We have many clients that started in 2009 and 10, they don't even have mortgages anymore. And, uh, it's, it's very, very, um, like it, it is probably the most special thing that we do for our clients to catapult them into um, getting closer and closer to financial freedom. So um, thank you for tuning in. We're going to have subsequent videos that are going to address some of the questions like what do we actually invest in? That's a separate type of topic. What happens when interest rates rise? Um, what happens if I want to move or change properties? What happens if I have rentals? I mean, you don't have to use portfolio assets to do this. You can use rental properties. Rental income is an amazing asset for this types of strategy. And so many people already have existing rental properties. So just engaging them into this strategy is going to be that much more powerful. We're going to talk about what the fees are for us to manage the strategy for, for um, our clients, as well as, you know, many other topics such as what happens should CRA audit us. You know, it's a, it's met, usually a nerve wracking time. It's like, it's like when you're driving to work and a cop throws its lights on and you instantly you you get a pit in your stomach and the police drive right by you and yet you still have that lost breath. It's the same thing when we get audited for taxes. You, the key is just slow down, make sure you're, you're diligent with your bookkeeping. We guide everybody on how to do this properly. And then it's really a slam dunk when CRA comes to ask, because they will ask. I mean, there's no way that you can get thousands of dollars of tax deductions that isn't commonplace in, in society or in Canada today and not have them look at it. It's a given. So those are again among some of the questions we're going to address.
please give us your feedback again. Leave a comment. Please share this information. We want to make this the standard that every Canadian knows how to make a tax deductible mortgage because it's not that complicated when you actually learn. It's just like playing a guitar or learning a new language. You're not going to be able to execute one bit in the first day. But a little bit of practice, a little bit of practice, more knowledge, a little bit of studying, a um, little bit of implementation, you're well on your way to um, mortgage freedom date and building an, a massive amount of wealth that you otherwise are going to leave on the table. So thanks so much for tuning in and uh, we look forward to hearing your feedback and uh, we'll be with you again soon. Thank you.